So I'll be showing you how to uh, compile uh, .cpp scripts in CodeBlocks. So by the way, I've been using CodeBlocks for all of my uh, demonstration in this channel. Then also, uh, I, I've been using CodeBlocks um, ever since I uh, uh, taught C++ um, in one of the universities here in uh, where I where I am located. So CodeBlocks is also a cross-platform IDE. So very much similar to uh, Dev C++. So other uh, Others have been using Dev C++, but in my case, I have been using CodeBlocks. Okay, so um, when you try to open, when you try to create an application, or when you try to create a script in in uh, CodeBlocks, uh, what you need to do is first, um, you can just click uh, File, then New. You have their empty file, or you can click this uh, New File button. So let's try to create a a new file this time. So I'm going to click um, New File, then we have here Empty File. So this is an empty file. Now, in order for a C plus, or in order for a Dev C plus plus, or uh, no, no, in order for a code blocks to identify that it is a, a uh, C plus plus script, um, we need first uh, to rename uh, this uh, file with a .cpp or .c extension. So, how do we do that in uh, Dev C plus plus? So, we can click File, then we can click Save File As. Okay. So notice by the way that uh, we have here um, an untitled .c. Okay, let's try to rename this one. Let's try to call this one as Hello World. Okay, then let's try to add. Uh, let's try to make it .cpp because we're dealing with a, a .c++ um, script, not a .c script. Okay, so uh, we have save as type c slash c++ files. So uh, both c and c++ will be treated um, similarly in a code blocks okay then let's try to click save so once we have saved the file so we have here hello world.cpp as you can see okay now uh if you wanted by the way to increase the font size you can press you can press your control key and scroll forward or if you wanted to decrease the font size you can press again the control key and scroll it um, backwards okay so uh, if you can either um, increase or decrease the font using uh, both your keyboard and your uh, mouse scroll button so let's try to code um, hash include now notice by the way that in uh, code blocks uh, the, the intellisense feature is enabled by default so yeah, io stream so we won't be making any um, complicated script or uh, complicated application uh, or complex application just like what we have done in our previous um, tutorials what we're going to do is just a this is just a demonstration on how to compile and at the same time to build a dot cpp script okay then uh, we have here using name namespace std i want to be also uh, explaining the code line by line so again this is just a demonstration on how to use uh, code blocks as a tool to compile and be, or build and compile a your, your c plus plus code then um let's try to add int main okay uh then c out try to have here the lower end line okay then return zero okay now uh before you can actually run the c++ code c++ script you need first and foremost to build okay you need to build it first okay so uh what is the purpose of building the 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 script so basically when you try to build it's very much the same as you're trying to compile first so um during the building process you will actually find the errors and the issues, uh, syntax issues and syntax errors of your script. Okay, so that's what you, that's what usually happens. It it will also um, um display the the error messages uh, here at the build message tab. If you can see, okay, let's try to build our script. So I'm going to click build, or you can click this button build. Okay, so let's try to click this button build. Okay. Um, so notice by the way that we have here the message build file no target in no project so it doesn't have any project it doesn't have any target because it's just a single script okay build finish zero error zero warnings okay that's it's, it 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 built it uh, very very uh, quickly because it's only um, six lines of code. 
Okay. Now, once we have tried to build this script, okay, let's try to see what the output is. Okay, we can click open. Then we have here, hello world. That oh, so we also uh, generated an executable file. Now, um, when we try to run, it will run the executable file that has been generated during the building process. So let's try to click uh, run. Okay, so we have here the output. This is hello world. Now, let's say, for example, there are some changes that we wanted to do. Let's, let's say, uh, slash worlds. Okay. Um, let's try to run it without actually building it. So, let's try to click run. Okay. Notice, by the way, that the changes that we have done is did not reflect on the executable file. Okay. So, let's try to build it first again. So, let's try to build. Okay. Build file. No target. No project zero errors zero warnings then let's try to run the executable file click run so we have here hello worlds now if if you're fond of using the keyboard if you're going to click here um build you have there the following um keyboard shortcuts so you can press ctrl f9 or if you wanted to just run it you can press ctrl f10 or if you want to build and run you can press con uh, directly f9 so uh actually uh, the the keyboard shortcut differs from um ide to ide so if you're going to use um dev c plus uh it's going to be a different keyboard shortcut okay but the process would still be the same we needed to run it we needed to build it first before we can actually uh run the application so uh that's how i would um normally create uh, write uh, write build and execute my C++ code using code blocks as my IDE. If you find the contents of this blog useful or interesting, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time a new video is uploaded, don't forget to hit the bell notification button. Thanks.